Update. Good morning, folks. Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of a sunny Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 11 name update, and we have a sea of green out there. All the U.S. indices that you and I track are trading to the upside. Dow's up about 400 points. That's 1%. 1.5% for the S&P, 86.0. 2.5% for the NASDAQ 100, 477 points. The Russell's up 1.5%, 32. Semis are up almost 4%, 184 points there. Trading's up 250, 1.5%. To the upside, gold's up eight bucks. Silver's up fifty-three cents. That's a one and seven tenths percent move there. Lights recruit is up about one percent, sixty-nine pennies. Natural gas off two cents. Thirty-year Treasury down twenty-seven ticks. Print out at one twenty-five oh six. Let's figure out what all that means by looking at that nine-panel market update chart. We'll begin with the ES Mini. The ES Mini has tested so far the uh, it's uh, what it was. What was its previous all-time high and that's from the trading session of um uh, july 16th 57.85 um if we close above what's it 57.8 i got the i got the wrong thing up there so it's 57.85 got the wrong swing point is what it's grabbing so it closed today about 57.85 i would say we'll go ahead and confirm the a to b equals cd pattern all that price really needed to do is close above 57 30 50 that's the b point of the a to b equals cd pattern but since we know that you've got resistance at that prior all-time high it's really got to be a close above 57 85 if we get that then we have an a to b equals cd pattern that should take us up towards a 60 13 level as long as spot fix index remains below its 50-day exponential moving average the 50 day is 1739 the vix is at 1670 that will provide energy for the buyers out there. So watch 57.85 come at day's end. In the case of the NQ, it's targeting its prior TD9 count top. Uh, it would negate that pattern with a close above 20, 251.25. If it does that, it'll also generate an A to B equals CD pattern to the upside. If we take a look at the U.S. dollar index, been jostling around from highs to low. We've just been looking at a sideways consolidation type move ever since it formed that Roach momentum indicator bottom pattern. It confirmed that on August the 28th. Goldilocks is dealing with its uh, with a um, yeah with the Roach momentum indicator top. It was this three river evening star candle formation. That formation took place on September 13th. September the 16th, and then September the 17th. That sets up resistance at 26.17.40. The gold closes above that, we're off to the race. Silver running right into resistance. That's at the top of its profile at 31.58. Folks, stay tuned for the Trader's Zen Show, but if you have to start your Thursday, please have a terrific one. Thanks for joining us, and we'll look forward to speaking with you again soon. Take care now.